I mean, okay, so was your family, you know, struggling for money at that point in, in, in your life or were you guys just getting by? Like, what was the financial it was, it was It was more so like a just getting by type thing, you know. Definitely, you know, we grew up in the projects, so that, that you know, that we, we, were, we were making, we were barely making ends meet. So, you know, me being the kind of kid that I was, I always wanted to help out in any type of way that I possibly could. So, um, and plus I always had a hustler's mentality. I, I, I'd take your shoes and sell them back to you. <laughs> so, um, it was, it was always that type of thing. And, uh, you know, as soon as I seen what, that what that could possibly be. It was like, let me just make a few extra chips instead of trying to do a summer youth program or something like that. So, now, okay, so you said music was always part of your life, but it doesn't sound like you was actively in the studio or anything like that. I started like jumping that. in the studio when I was about, right, like right before the acting really popped off. Like right before I got the wire, I started, I started touching the studio for the first time. But before that, it was just me writing rhymes or writing songs or going from neighborhood to neighborhood battling people uh you know just you know rocking out with my homeboys it wasn't like it, it was it was more so like just trying to get my just trying to get my credibility up and learning more rather than you know trying to be a full blown um a full blown blown professional artist just yet what led into getting a gig on what um it was just auditions for the wire seriously like you know once once i did a few auditions i actually uh i actually auditioned for randy first and um you know got really far and they were like you know we just think that he's too big a kid to be bullied so they had me audition for michael and then the rest was history you mentioned Wu, the wu-tang method man was on the mm -hmm. show did that have anything to do with were you getting into the wire not at all. I actually, I like when I first seen it. Um, I mean, when I, you know, I was watching The Wire beforehand, but I, you know, I haven't talked to Meth in a while. So me just auditioning for it, the the people who who cast me didn't even know that me and Meth knew each other. Mm -hmm. It was funny because they tried to introduce us, and he was like, "This is Little Paul. What you mean?" So I'm picturing that Meth voice. Yeah. You know, Meth is all yeah. animated. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So, so you just on your own. That's just you just impressed the money. You don't, you don't need a cosign. Mm -hmm. and say, Yo, uh, that's dope. And you definitely were bigger than the other kids. You could not, you could not play. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it's funny because you got mad, especially the season that you got on. It's just a lot more kids involved. Mm -hmm. So, what was that like? It's just a bunch of kids on an adult show. Uh, could you, for some of us that just you know, just watch the show and we don't really think much into it, yeah. it, it always crosses our mind, like, yeah, this man kids in here. Mm -hmm. What was that like? What was that interaction with the kids and the adults? Called? I mean, it was cool. You know, um, there was definitely a lot of stuff that we had that we had to have our parents consent to, but um, you know, I, I honestly I don't think I really thought too much into it until I was older and off the show. You know, um, I you know at the time I'm like. Like I said, I'm like 16, 17 years old. I'm running around the streets of Baltimore. I don't have to go to school, and I'm getting paid to curse, shoot guns, and just act like all of my boys back in the hood. Like that's it's cool. Like let's do it. I'm fine with that. It was great. And uh, when your when your mom or your family first uh, got involved with this, what did they think about you cursing? Right? I mean, my mom. My mom is, like I said, my mom is Dominican, so she curses herself. <laughs> There's not. There's a difference between your kid cursing and you cursing. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you know, I think I think because she already she was a fan of the Wire beforehand, and she had me on the Wire, so she knew what she was getting herself into with me, with me, you know, being cast on the show. Mm -hmm. um, but she, you know, she was pretty cool with it. You know, just with certain scenes, there was it was definitely like I can't watch that. <laughs> I understand. Craziest Wire story. Craziest wire story. Um, I don't know. We we had some. It was it was pretty pretty wild. We're like calm times, but we just we just were kids having a lot of fun. Like I I remember like little things like we g'd the teacher to let us um to let us get um uh, writing credit if we wrote rhymes and battled each other in class. So like little things like that, it was you know just to keep everything fun and try to get over on the teacher as much as possible. 
uh, being that this was in Baltimore, any any interesting situations ever occurred because you guys were actually in the streets over there? Nah, nothing crazy. You know, because uh, you know, um, because the show is very real and it's based around a lot of people that are very real and. Um, a lot of the people that it's based on are actually working on the show, so it's like we we always we were always fully two hundred percent protected, you know. Like so, it would be it would be real street dudes that the street dudes uh, respected that were on the show, like um the the guy who played the real Omar, he was one of the uh, script supervisors, so he would be on set with us all the time, and he knew all the young street dudes and all of that, and you know they would they would definitely. Uh, I guess they were. I mean, he's Omar, so <laughs> they were a little. They were a little scared of him. Yeah, well, now looking back at that, um, everybody still considered that one of the greatest shows on television. Mm -hmm. the, the, what did that mean to you? It means a lot. You know, it, it's it's crazy that I was a part of something. Um, I was I was a part of something that could impact the culture the way it did at such a young age. You know, and I guess not even fully recognize it until later it was it was it's definitely um one of those awe striking moments you know when when i was like 20 21 and you know i'm going up to get an afi award instead of a, an emmy it was just like yeah i think we did something you know what's dope and i and i'm sh i'm not sure if you realize this or if you still talk to a lot of the your castmates but uh just a, i think a couple of weeks ago i was watching the walking dead and i see d and cuddy uh -huh on the show and it didn't hit me until I was like, wait a minute, they was on, like, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of these guys seem to, you know, their careers have been elevated because of this show. Mm -hmm. right? Have you noticed that? Absolutely. Absolutely. 200%. Like, you know, for, I, I think the wire for everything. Like, it was it was the wire that, that got me 90210. Like, the producers from 90210 called and was like, listen, we love your stuff on the wire. We want to give 90210 a different dynamic. Will you help us? So, you know, again, I think the wire for everything.